Kassel is a city of art and a city of culture. The city and region of Kassel are blessed above all with unique parks and palaces. The imposing Bergpark Wilhelmshöhe, a hillside park containing palaces like the Wilhelmshöhe, the Löwenburg and Hercules, spreads out over 240 hectares and adjoins the Habichtswald Nature Park. Part of the Bergpark, about 100 hectares, is also a certified core park or spa gardens. The park itself has over 600 different types of woods and is Europe's largest hillside park. One of the most beautiful inner city parks in Europe is the Karlsauer or Charles Meadow and the Orangerie Schloss or Orangery Palace. The Karlsauer has something for everyone. Beautiful walks, space for games and sports and for culture vultures the Orangery with its marble bathroom and small museum for astronomy and physics. The Wilhelmsthal Park and Palace are a gem of the Rococo period. Located in Calden, not far from Castle, this leisure and hunting lodge was built in country surroundings in 1743 on the orders of Duke Wilhelm VIII as a summer residence. Every year the palace and park play host to the opening of the North Hesse Summer of Culture, a series of cultural events that kicks off with a concert and picnic in the park. Castle owes its rich trove of cultural treasures largely to its history as a residence of the Dukes. Items from the collection of artifacts and curiosities of the Dukes were the beginning of a passion for collecting that enriched Castle over the centuries with outstanding works of art. Among them are sculptures from antiquity like the Castle Apollo or the renowned collection of Dutch painting including works by Rembrandt and Rubens. They're the heart of Castle Museum. The Otterneum was the first theatre building in Germany. The Fridericianum, the first museum building on the European continent. Together with city and private museums, there's a cultural network of unusual density and quality that attracts art lovers from all over the world and which is celebrated every year on the first Saturday in September with the Night of Castle Museums. The best known series of exhibitions around the world, award-winning and with enormous cultural impact, is the Documenta. Over the course of its history, it's managed to continually extend its leading position in the communication of contemporary art. Between documenters, the Federationum Art Museum presents a popular exhibition program of contemporary art. Castle has unique exhibition and research establishments, the Museum for Sepulchral Culture, the Caricatura and the Documenta Archive. Castle is the capital of the German fairy tale route and it's where the Brothers Grimm Museum testifies to the life and works of the well-known linguists Jakob and Wilhelm Grimm. Popular in particular with the Japanese and the Americans but also with all other tourists. Traces of the world famous fairy tales can be found everywhere in Castle and its surroundings. From Sleeping Beauty's Saberburg Castle in the Reinhardt's Forest to the fairy tale route and the original locations where the Brothers Grimm worked. All the world's a stage, and so is Castle, with the Staatstheater, renovated in 2006, and the Comedy Theater, as well as a host of other small stages. There's also a diverse cultural scene, with lots of film venues, the summer culture tent, as well as many other venues and locations that enrich cultural life here. Bang in the heart of the city centre is the Star Club Cabaret Theatre and a very modern casino with some racy entertainment. Northwest of Castle you'll find the Concert Scheune Calden or Calden Concert Barn. It's a historic barn that's been converted and it's an in place with the culture crowd. Living in Castle means constantly making new discoveries.